Nintendo. Hello, Nintendo. Welcome to my Animal Crossing for Nintendo GameCube. I am your host. My name is Christian Weston Chandler. I live in Rutgersville, Virginia. And I is 21 years old. And I play because I'm young at heart. So anyway, we're going to take a tour of my city in Animal Crossing. It's, the city's name is Quickville. See, those are my initials, CWC. That's why it's spelled that way. And my character's name is Sonichu. You may remember him from uh, previous letters that I have sent to you guys in the past. Anyway, we're going to get set up now. We usually do have a good time. So anyway, stepping out is my character, Sancho. He's wearing the clothes with the character on it. Like I said, you might remember his face. And there's his actual face. You remember the rest of his body, you see the whole picture. And before we get to the daily routines, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my house, as well as uh, you know, af as well as the daily routines. We'll take a tour of the town, but first the house. You see this logo on here? That is the logo to my website on the internet. If you would like to visit, it, here's the address. I'm gonna leave it up for a few seconds. All right, that's enough. Now we're gonna take a tour of my house. Turn on lights so you can see better. This is my first floor, obviously. I keep things well organized. I got room to walk around in. I can even dance. Want to see me do a bit? Yellow is a bad low color. Yes, it is. It's a bad low color. Sign you zaps the lightning. And mellow color. Yeah. Of course, uh, when I uh, do a dance, I usually like to have my uh, audience. Yeah, do 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 do. But since it's getting close to Christmas, I have the snowflakes on the wall instead. And I keep it in this closet. So anyway, yeah, uh, here's a fun thing. The snowman. He teaches me how to play piano. And by the way, just to let you know, in case uh, you can hear the uh, music in the background. Those are my karaoke numbers that I actually, ma actually made up lyrics to and I have played and uh, sang my voice over the originals. So let me give you an example. May I, Mr. Snowman? Please go right ahead. All right. Tell me why I'm stuck as a virgin with rage. Tell me why I still need a cute girl my age. Tell me why I ain't never want to hear you say. I have a boyfriend. And that was inspired by a real thing. By the way, that's your website. That is your website, isn't it? Nintendo.com. It's a nice place to visit, but we cannot live there. Which brings us up to our next subject, the diary. You guys get a good job with it uh, going back and forth within a 12-month radius. By the way, this is my birthday right here, my actual birthday. I was born in 1982, in case, in case you want to take a note there. Okay, that's long enough. So anyway, uh, it does make good, it not only does it work for a calendar, but makes for a good monthly journal. As for a monthly journal entry here in November, yeah, I tried to get a girlfriend because I don't have a girlfriend. But I have made up a poem. Let you guys read it. All right. Scroll down a little bit as we go along. It's a very good poem because I am an artist as well as a poet. I make a rhyme every time. Anyway, that's my poem. But in case uh, you didn't notice here, look at here. Tell me why I'm stuck as a virgin with rage. But my song lyric in here because it was inspired because I do not have a girlfriend. You know why? Because I have a phobia that every girl I talk to, she already has a boyfriend. Right. So anyway, moving on with the tour of my house. As you can see, I got, I'm got i collecting the NES games. I got most of them down here. 
and I got a couple upstairs. One on fake. You know the one I'm talking about. Does April 1st strike a bell? But my favorite game is right here. I like it because uh, it really challenges the mind in the math area and gets you refreshed there. And by the way, you notice the two logos here? It's a good way to welcome the guests that come into your house. Old Nintendo 64 on the left and GameCube on the right. Call it before and after deal. Oh, look at this. Good little South Feng Shui here. Of course, it makes for a good welcome mat. Speaking of Feng Shui, I got my red items along the east side in hopes of getting the, uh, get more NES games, especially that of Wario's Woods. By the way, how the heck do you get that game anyway? I mean, all you tell us to do is to go to Animal Island, but then what the heck do we do? You should have given us more details back in that previous issue of uh, The Crossing Guardian. And speaking of which, you know I've been a long time subscriber. So therefore I got all the previous issues, and I time travel back and forth when I start Animal Crossing to collect a few items. But uh, in respect to uh, tri time traveling back, because I missed a few things, I created a temporary character. His name was Tim Timetail. And uh, he time traveled back and got the remaining items given to me, as well as the other character I made up and uh, in, another, in the other city in Slot B, which uh, I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, we're going upstairs. This is my bedroom. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Because I like to make things fun, since you know I'm young at heart. And here's a fun joke. Turn on TV. Sit down. I watch TV while I wait to get on the internet. It's a good way to kill time, anyway. Anyway, here's the fake. Sound familiar? Right. Anyway, this is my bed. The harvest bed. Nice choice, isn't it? I'm gonna take a quick nap. Okay, nap's over. Alright, you wanna see my music collection? It's all good. I got them all courtesy of KK Slider. Though, of course, the first one was a freebie from the E-Rear card. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Anyway, here's the fan of Mario Bros. stuff. Oh, you notice what time it is? It's 1.15. Good time to start in the afternoon. Anyway, now we're heading down to the basement. Let me just turn on the lights. I keep my models down here. It's a nice little era of uh, models. And I leave enough room for me to walk around in. Well, that's a cute joke. Hey, stop. You're under arrest. What for? For uh, being the black market, you red fox. Ah, oh, jeez. And I got both houses. Yeah, I scored that high with the HRA. Notice this train? I wonder where it's heading to. It's probably heading over to the memory car in Slap B. Tell you about that, see you later. Anyway, this is where I do my cooking. If you can, if you can ever do your cooking in Animal Crossing for Nintendo GameCube. I have that DVD. And this is the fridge. I could store my food in there, but I can't. What, does it have a padlock on it or something? Oh, look, here's my phone. Let's make a phone call. Hello? Thank you. Good advice. Hey, let's have a seat on this thing. I like this thing. Listen to this. Let me do that again. One more time. Okay, that's enough. Too much fun, you'll die laughing. So anyway, that's my house. Let me just turn off the lights before I leave. Alright, now we're going to go to my daily routines as well as the tour of the town. You notice I got an empty inventory. And by the way, here's a good rule of thumb. Keeping my shovel, net, pole, and a set of letters here on the bottom row. You know why? I'll tell you about that when we get to the nook shop. But anyway, I usually check my mail. Oh, well, you know, I got three presents. Well, let's see what this one is, though. Bob. Oh, I guess he moved out. Oh, well. Anyway, let's see what we got from the, uh, probably from the museum, because I dig up those fossils, and, uh, I sell them. Makes a nice profit. I just quickly, uh, read through them and throw them away. You know, like, junk mail. You could also say pop-ups if they had an X on them. See what we got here. Dinosaur track. A tricera tail. A dinosaur egg. Well, that'll make a nice profit. 
By the way, in case you missed it the first time, I'm gonna put it up again. Okay, you got it. Alright, now, before we head to the next shop, which will be the last stop on the tour, we go, we're gonna take the rest of the tour here. Alright, let's see. Well, this is a train station. When I travel to the other city, which I'll tell you about now, the, na the name of the city is Quick City, spelled C-W-C-C-I-T-Y. We'll visit there later, but not by train, of course. It'll be, uh, ho it'll be uh, run by the uh, character named Crystal, C-R-I-S-T-A-L, when we get there. All right. Oh, look at this, a hole in the ground. Yeah, you see sometimes so there's an item in Quick City. I don't have it here in Quickville, because I had Quickville a lot longer than Quick City. I bring stuff from Quick City over here. Because obviously I did not collect this one yet. I got a good memory. And also, you know, I got a good taste for music because I grew up on music. So anyway, yeah, let's move on. With oh, you notice this? You know why this is here? I paid my deck. And there's a Sanchi's mug again, right next to the master. Oh, look at this. HFA, a pair of mean eyes. Must mean something bad. I know what it means. But I'll tell you about it at the end of the documentary here of the city of Quickville and Quick City, or otherwise, all the deal in Animal Crossing for Nintendo GameCube in a nutshell. So, anyway, here's the post office. Do my mailing and such, and the e reader swipes. By the way, there's a good way of profits from the e reader. I'll tell you about that in Quick City. Oh, wait, no, a money spot. I'll just dig up the thousand bells. Yep, thousand bells. Just bury that up. And drag it up there. Use the R button to uh, quickly pick up the items. Anyway, here's the dump. I come here first, pick up the whatever items are here every time I start Animal Crossing. Hmm, got a shirt. What we got here? A plant. I have picked up a pothos before, so I know it's a plant. I don't really use plants in my house, you know, except for that Christmas tree, but that's because, you know, it's the holidays. But anyway, she's around here. I want to show you my favorite character that I kind of got to know it from the start. Oop, she just went in. So let's go say hello. Yeah, um, um, could you come out here, please? Mm, darn it, I can't see her, but anyway, uh, I think you recognize her. Oh, here we go, a little bit. Yeah, Mint. She's a sweetie. She gave me a birthday present on my 21st birthday when I time traveled back. Talk to me. Well, wait, it's bit. It's November. Yeah, I got a heater in the basement. Heh. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, I'll see you there, Minty. You're a sweetie. Anyway, let's uh, also, on the trip, we'll take a look at some of the other colorful characters we have around here. Also, every time I uh, keep a track of the uh, map, see if anybody new came in. Oh, we got a new neighbor, Bertha. I hadn't noticed her before, so she's obviously new. So anyway, uh, let's move on. Here's another character I grew up with. Actually, she moved in, and but lived here most of the time, Marcy. You know she's wearing a Sanchu shirt. Sanchu is very popular in Quickville. There's Anna Kuti. She just went in. And there's Elmer. He just went in. He was one of the senior citizens around here, too. I say that because he was literally here. By the way, our, our uh, city fruit is a peach. Well, I've grown a lot of orange pears and such. Oh, well, you know, it's that girl from the train. I have to draw her face every time, but when I'm in a hurry, I just color it, the whole thing, and she looks like a blank face. But I gave her a face last time. Oh, there was another character up here on the hill, and she just came out, Chevere. Well, you know, she's wearing Elmer's clothes. Anyway, moving on with the tour. Well, <laughs> good joke. Anyway, also, you know, I like to use the billboards to put my signs up. There's my Sanchi site logo. There's Sanchi's mug. 
I got two here side by side to represent the uh, holiday and uh, such. You know, we got your corn that you got from the previous issue. And I drew this leaf. Obviously for Thanksgiving and the Harvest Festival. Oh look, there's Groucho. He's wearing the Science You Side shirt. Let's say hello. There's Amy. A fruit, huh? I'll, I'll take one. Yeah, it makes a nice little profit when you talk to them. And most of the time it happens from the jobs. So anyway, yeah, here's Leopold. He moved in a long time. Here's Hank. He was one of the senior citizens around here also. But as always, Mint and Hank. Mint and Elmer. Let's go say hello to the new neighbor. Oh, yeah, here she is. She must be Bertha. Hello, Bertha. It is a nice place. <laughs> scared brain. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you around. Here's the museum. Let's go look at the exhibits. First, we'll look at the bug exhibit. I got most of the bugs. I'll show you. This is my bug collection. I caught them all one by one, then donated them one by one. Want to see my number of fish? Not as much. But anyway, uh, all the bugs are just running around here. Well, you know, we got a couple, of few bugs on the trees here. Two of them are fighting. Oh, that's funny. Like Lucy and Desi. I love Lucy. Anyway, uh, to the next exhibit, the fish exhibit. Yeah, you can see here, I caught those fish. I donated them. Mm, this one's empty. I guess it's waiting for a kind donation. Yeah, here's a bunch of fish. Here's some more fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Alright, anyway, moving on with the tour of the museum. Take a look at the paintings. I haven't gotten them all yet, but uh, I got a few. Here's a nice one. It's strange, though. So I guess why you call it a strange painting. Yeah, some of them are, most of them are just waiting for a kind donation. But I got this one from a swipe. Your, uh, common painting from old boots but my favorite painting around here is uh, right here Washington crossing the Delaware but you guys call it the classic painting anyway moving on we're gonna check out what I worked hard for and actually got done the fossil section all the fossils right here all of them dug them all up Though the last one I completed, and the last one I picked up, was the pterodactyl. All I needed was the right ring, and I completed the pterodactyl, as well as the fossil exhibit. And who's my favorite? It's obvious. Anyway. Oh. You can actually see the bug in that amber, you know that? Right there. wonder what kind of bug that is. I think it was in the, uh, insect thing. Oh well, forget. Anyway, moving on with the tour. Leaving the museum. See you later, sleeping blathers. Oh, here's another neighbor, Cookie. She just went in. Alright. Well, anyway, uh, since we're uh, down here, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. There's a, here's, a top, here's a dock right here. And there's the sea turtle. Of course, uh, I usually would check around the uh, beach lines for old Gulliver, that sailor bird. You should have called him Pelipper, like the Pokemon. You notice these two signs here? You need Game Boy Advance to get started. But when you come back, welcome to the GameCube. But anyway, let's go visit the island real quick. Because I'll show you something fun you can do on the island. I use my Game Boy Advance SP, but I do have a GBA as well. But I use the uh, SP for, uh, you know, with the e-reader because, you know, like Digimon players, it's uh, easier to hold and swiping as as compared to the uh, GBA original. Anyway, hey sweet young lass, 
bunch of follow up spunk and sass. Over T, she tells me, I got no class. I ain't no crummy creep who lives in trash heaps. I'm just one old sea hun who needs some sleep. <laughs> No, I do not. I know the singing annoys me too. But I just mock it. And that's and that's why I kinda have this thing on mute anyway. I listen to my music. Every time I play. I should turn it off right after we just after just as we leave the uh, original. So anyway, this is my island, Quickville Island. Look at all these coconuts here. In the tropical seas with the coconut trees. We were looking see coconut. Find way to make a profit. Here's Flash. Tross, I gave him that expression, like Pinky in the brain. So, let's say hello. I'll let you have it. Because I don't need it. It doesn't look too bad on you. Anyway, here's a fun way to make a profit. Of course, you need the game by advance for this. You shake the trees. You grab the coconuts. I put them all over here. I, I gathered them all over here in this area and then I just drag them over to the bird and after the first three coconuts it gives me money Then I just put them all back in the proper place around here and when I come back to the island GameCube version instead of the uh, on the GameCube instead of in the Game Boy Advance after uploading I collect the money go as high as 30,000 bells which is very nice anyway I'll show you what you can do with your house on the island I use mine as storage for the uh, extra items I uh, don't have room for at home. Yeah, I got a bunch. Of course, uh, I got mostly wallpaper and shirts. That's why I got all these dressers. But I got all the uh, carpets from Sahara. She was here yesterday. I, well, how do I know? I usually keep track. I made a special sticker with my Game Boy camera. And I just, uh, whenever I, whenever there's a holiday, or uh, when there's a special event as noted by the copper, I note it on a calendar with one of those special stickers. I write it down whether it's for Quickville or Quick City. Anyway, we're going to leave the island. See you later, Flash. Draws. For Zort. Hey, Captain. Yeah, I'm leaving. No, thank you. Oh, by the way, Sanchi's mug is the flag of the island. Obviously. Don't worry, this time I'm not gonna imitate his singing. Instead, I'll talk about something random. Sonic the Hedgehog. By the way, those two uh, characters in the tailor shop, Mabel and Sable, are they hedgehogs or porcupines? Because, I don't know, they look like hedgehogs and or porcupines, but uh, I'm not sure which are they. But either way, if they're hedgehogs, you got my vote on Sonic. Speaking of which, you should make, Sonic Heroes should be Nintendo GameCube exclusive because Xbox and PlayStation 2, my opinion is the same as yours, they both stink. Yeah, I do not even own them, I don't even want them. And that goes double for the PS1 as well. But if you want to know my game systems, I had my GameCube for about almost a year and a half now. Got it on May 31st, 2002. I got your SNES, Nintendo 64, NES. I got the Genesis 301 with the original Genesis, 32X, and Sega CD, as well as Sega Dreamcast, and the Sega Saturn. So I got mostly all of them. I've been a Sonic fan forever, and that's why I'm glad that Sonic came to uh, Nintendo. By the way, y'all may uh, remember that uh, I sent you guys a letter talking about my dream of Sonic on Game Boy. 
Well, you go on my website, check the uh, about the author section, you'll see Nintendo Power Magazine cover I made up just for the occasion. Anyway, welcome back to the GameCube. Let's move on with the tour, shall we? Anyway, we're gonna check the outlet. Oh, the lighthouse. Oh, we look at this. There's a weed. I pick weeds. Keeps my town clean as well as uh, quick see. Oh, here's the other billboard. I do not know if I've shown you. Magic carp. That's for the fishing tourney. I drew a magic carp just for it. Yeah, that's a magic carp. I didn't have room for a Gyarados. So anyway, uh, here's a tarot shop. I got a Game Boy Advance right here as well because, you know, I can use my Game Boy Advance here. So let's go in and see what I got on display. Yeah, I mean, what are they? Hedgehogs or porcupines? Because I can't tell. Anyway, I got signed you, I got signed you right here. Oh, by the way, this is his girlfriend. You want to know what her name is? Rose Chew. See how that's spelled? Yeah. But you'll see, you'll probably see her and her body on the uh, letter that's included with the uh, VHS here. So anyway, yeah, that's her favorite flower. Call it the Zap Bud. Oh, there's my Sanchi sign logo. There's your corn you uh, featured Nintendo Power. And I swiped for the Pokeball, as well as Star Fox emblem. Here, let me show you the uh, rest of my uh, patterns. Most of them I put together. There's Sonic right there. And uh, this is Sonic's evil twin, Black Sonic. I made up the Mario as uh, kind of like, you know, from Nintendo Power. Duh. If you guys have a shirt already in the uh, game, that's for me to know. Find out later. Oh, because Spider Man was in town recently, I was inspired. And here's Old Glory. Let's see. Yeah, these are the uh, older patterns I uh, kind of picked up from the shirt, says watch. And these are patterns I put together myself. There's the magic carp. And there are others like you got from Nintendo Power. The corn, the moon, groovy. Groovy. I call it groovy. There's the mushroom and the mug. Oh, I got something ready for Christmas. You know, you may have noticed the wreath back there. Let's see. Yeah, here are the uh, swiped images. Oh, by the way, you remember Tim Time Trail? That's his logo right there. I call it Time Travel. It's got his name written on there. T Tim Time Trail. Could you excuse me for a minute? I got an itch in my eye. Alright. Anyway, that's taken care of. Let's see, I guess... What did I do that for? I'm putting it back. Anyway, that's uh, images I got so far. No, no thank you. We got nothing. So I'll see you all later. Or another day, somewhat. Yeah, I think that looks familiar. What Mabel's sewing up, or is that Sable? I think that's the noodle design. Anyway, moving on. Another weed. Why you know about that? I usually like to run. It keep it keeps me going faster. By the way, Puck lives here. Oh, well, you know, a hole in the ground. I usually, also usually uh, during my uh, rounds, I check for these holes, and it's an antique. And of course, if I dig up a fossil, I just quickly write a letter to the museum, and I don't have to write anything, so I just get that out of the way real quick. I'm gonna keep my shovel in hand because uh, I think there may be a few more holes around here somewhere. But look at this, another weed. Anyway, no bird today. So, but let's go see copper. See if there's anything new at the police station. Any goings on? Nothing important, huh? It's hard to catch that bird, you know, the uh, postal character, Pete. One time I tried, but then he just flew away. Anyway. You got anything in the police station today, Copper? That is, uh, anything lost? Oh, we got something? Oh, good. I'll take it. I usually just pick them up and sell it later. By the way, as for Goldberg, if he has something I have not collected yet, I usually keep it. Seeds? Oh, well, I'll take it. I can always plant those. Because they won't make much of a profit. Anyway, if uh, Gover has gave me some that I already have, I used to just sell it. Makes a nice profit. Anyway, let's plant these flowers. Uh, 
There's a good place. Alright. Well, you know, red tulips. Anyway, uh, there's, uh, what's your name? Oh, yeah, Portia. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's Lay. Right there. Oh, by the way, you know, for mint, I got a card as well, her Animal Crossing card. Let's see who lives here. Oh, yeah, Chuckles. He likes to wear belt buckles. Rhyme joke. So, anyway, uh, moving a little north. Here's the uh, Nook Shop. I got it the best, obviously. But if it gets any better, I'll be surprised. So, anyway, uh, let's go in and see what's th what Nook well, Nook's got today. Oh, I gotta sell these items. That's I usually do that. I sell them the items. Items I don't need. Those fossils make a nice little profit. Especially the uh, one that's not within the top five. Whoops. I pressed the B button by mistake. Oops! I goofed. You have foreign fruit, 500. Bother the peaches only gets you 100 here. By the way, safe fruit in uh, Quick City, it's a pear. Oh, and I need a sign anyway, so I'll just go ahead and get one of those. Anyway, we're going upstairs. Well, you know, we got the gruesome twosome. They're kind of like a pair. Mm. Let's see, blue dresser, uh, iris table, refrigerator. Yes, I got this refrigerator alright, so I don't need it. I already got the wire bird. I've seen these shirts before. We, we got all these, these two. They chase me around wherever I go, like I'm some kind of nut or something. Watch this. Almost caught me there. Okay, I'm leaving. Let's see, was there any other business I need? Oh, I guess I need some more paper. So I'll get a sheet, get a pack. That's quick, I just pick a random style and just go with that. By the way, in case you're wondering about those uh, button noises, I got the microphone taped to the uh, GameCube wave, wave bird here. Anyway, I'll show you something you can do with the raffle tickets you pick up from here. Instead of making a mess in my house, I bury them right here, right next to the Nook Shop. It's a good place to locate them. So when I'm, when I'm ready at the end of the month, I just pick up as many as I can hold. I'm just gonna play back because it ain't November 30th yet. I guess I don't need this shovel anymore. Now I'm gonna make use of this uh, sign here the way I should have a long time ago because I didn't think about it. It's already been done, Quick City, but. Right here by the post office, you can use your GBA. Well, that's a bad place for it. I'm picking it back up. Well, you know, another weed. Must have missed that earlier. Anyway, you might post a sign. Game Boy Advance. Whoops. What did I do that for? I'm putting it back. There we go. Uh. Excuse me. Hmm. I got well over 50,000, so I'm going to make a deposit. It's not, It's a good idea to, that you guys did have when you made this thing. Not only a post office. Oh, I gotta mail it off that fossil anyway. And not only, it's a good idea that not only you make this into a post office, but a bank. It says you're building. So anyway, let's see, make a deposit. One, two, three, four, five. Seven for her fifty thousand. It's good save. I made most of that money from the e rear swipes, which I'll tell you about that in Quick City. Anyway, uh, let's see, I guess that's it for uh, Quickville. You guys will be back later. 
And uh, when you come back, I'll tell you about this sign here. Anyway, I'm going home. But I'm gonna save. You may save, Mr. Gyroid. Do 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 do. So you may save and quit. Hey, mellow color. Yellow is mellow color. Yes, it is. Okay, see you in Quickville. I mean, Quick City. At this time, I switched the memory cards because uh, I got Quickville currently in slot A and Quick City in slot B. I'm switching the two, putting City in slot A and Ville in slot B. So now I'm pressing this start button. And here's a resident, Iggy. Here you got get that down, Quick City. That's the name of the city right there. And that's her name, Crystal. Make sure you get that down. Alright, getting things ready. blast huh well that's a fun thing to say anyway uh, this is crystal she's wearing the uh, rose chew look there's a zap button on the door I got side she's rose chew's mug right here and in her ensemble but let's take a tour of her house first it ain't much since uh, she just basically got started but she's almost done paying off her debt to old nook there's your website again on oh, look here's the R wing launching into the uh, Super Mario Bros world which reminds me, I gotta get those two boxes and those two passwords later. Anyway, here's her diary. She got started only on November 12th. Sanchu got started on October 24th. Anyway, let's see. What else we got here? Yeah, I got the two logos. Will you look at that guy? I'm in the wrong place. Oh well, I'll just move him. I didn't notice that before. I got him in the wrong place. Well, that's no problem. I'll just quickly move them around. Mm. They make it look, you guys make it look tough to move things around, but actually it's not. Let's see what time it is. Oh, it's 1.45, huh? Well, it's getting close to being later in the afternoon. There's her tree. She's getting ready for Christmas, too. Let's take a quick trip upstairs. She got her, her NES game. She got collected up here. It got an old falsehood right there. Super Tormer. Why'd you guys make that game up anyway? It's so st it's stupid because it's fake. Anyway, here's a thing. I got lucky and found this. I think I dug it up. Oh, no, wait a minute. I got it from Red. Long time ago. Oh, here's her harvest bed. I got a couple of empty tables for getting ready for a couple more NES games. <sighs> anyway, uh, her basement isn't s s as, as busy as uh, Quickville, but... She's got a few models down here. A couple of tracks models. Oh, there's the moon. You guys made that thing really big, you know. It's too big for me, if you ask my opinion. Huh. Katrina's a little off. I'm just going to move her real quick. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there's the glow clock. You notice know, I had glow, cock, glow clock in the basement in Quickville as well. Oh, you know what? It's, uh, Crystal has modeled her uh, rose shoe outfit long enough. Oops. I guess I can't do that yet. Oh well. Never mind. Anyway, moving on. Before we take a tour of the city, I'm going to tell you how you make a, f make, a make a fun profit with the e-reader. Oh, check the bulletin board. Oh, that's an oldie. Anyway, of course, there's the train station. Told you about that earlier in Quickville. There's Rosie's mug. You see no statue because she hasn't paid her debt off. That's why we're going to do this with the uh, Crystal. Oh, give me a second, would you? I gotta do something real quick. I'm handling my Game Boy in the way for it at the same time. That's why I put it over there, too. I 
I use my uh, SP as well here. You, you know my uh, funds right here, all right? Not my funds. I'm going to show you guys some real uh, I use my Game Boy Advance SP to help me out here, since you know Digimon deal. Not only that, but uh, noise it makes it helps me uh, clarify whether I uh, got the card read right. I usually do it ten at a time. I'll t elaborate about that some more later. But I'm gonna do this on purpose. Uh, swipe it awkwardly. Oops! I must have goofed up. Anyway, I'm going to try that again, so you guys can uh, hear the noise that makes. Oh, that's right. Because you see, I got prepared in advance by, uh, <clears throat> you know, showing you my profit. By going on ahead and taking care of the first set of 30 cards out of 63 that I own so far. Because, like I said, do it 10 at a time. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Let me just go ahead and uh, show you how you make a nice little profit. Okay, first step, you uh, swipe the first ten cards, right? Because that's a mazo you can hold into your mailbox. Open the mailbox, get the ten layers into your hold there, and then you just uh, grab and drop it to the first ten slots. By the way, rule of thumb, elaborate earlier with the five down here. Because, you know, when you uh, sell your items to Tom, it usually ends up on the first item. And you... And that, that way, you got these guys on the bottom, they will not get in the way. You won't have to move the uh, hand. So anyway, uh, we're going to go to the Nook Shop. There's Iggy again. Got to play with his ball. Like I said, I haven't gotten that far here yet in Quick City. There's old Tom. I've taken care of all my uh, errands like, uh, Chris, like old Sainz you showed you back there. Anyway, we're going to do some selling. Obviously, I don't have say much to say at this point, so I'm just going to let you guys listen to the music while I sell. Okay, I got more to say. After I uh, sell the uh, first set of 10 and get that out of the way, <clears throat> like I said before, of course I do this with the R button. I just pick up and put them over there. Of course I have precise order. I do it from the first layer, first card swiped to the last card swiped. I usually swipe them in the uh, in order of their card numbers because uh, that's just the way I do it. Also, I used the uh, Animal Crossing card that came with the e-reader. You know, it's the musical note in the first set. I just count that as card number triple zero. Makes a good idea. By the way, according to, by the way, speaking of the e-reader cards, you guys should really uh, print out some more of uh, series of the early series, like series one, because you know, since I just started, you sh I really want to uh, collect those. And uh, I really would like it if you would. Uh, publish some more of those uh, serious ones. I don't care if you do like, you know, second edition or whatever. But print out some more of those cards, please. Anyway, uh, I should just click, just read the letters real quick and then just throw them away like jump mail. After I uh, get rid of the presents. By the way, I hope you guys took note of the uh, amount in a previous deal in the post office and anyway, after I delete the layers I open them up one by one in a 
orderly flash or orderly fashion I almost said orderly flashing anyway let's see with that done I head back home I get the net sets and I have ready And then I head back to the post office. And swipe the net set in. And uh, just to let you know, at every, 50 th at every point over 50,000, you should make a deposit. But since I'm a good number at start, I'm not going to do that. So uh, after all the uh, e-rear swipes, you should come up to a very nice. and profitable, profitable proposition there. And after uh, swiping all those cards, a nice grand total there, we can make a very generous donation, or should I say deposit. The usual 50000 Here you go. No, thank you. Well, anyway, uh, besides uh, selling those things, those uh, pr profitable items from the e rear cards, if there are any I haven't collected yet, I usually just keep them. Instead of selling them, like for example, the uh, Pansy models downstairs. And well, since that's all with, she just changed it to her regular, her uh, nice warm clothing for the winter her ski sweater so anyway uh, let's see uh, oh yes I guess I should, she should we should give you a tour of uh, quick city well you have seen the uh, post office and the nook shop but I'll tell you the dump it is in the opposite location compared to quickville and there it is the dump And uh, let's see. There's money. She used to live in Quickville, but she moved here. And there's Sally. She moved here. I had to check the map every now and then because it's a different location. Let's see. There's Carmen. Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego. Causing mischief around the world. Let's see now. Oh yeah, that's Pinky. That's Pinky. There's the museum. Oh, wait, look at this, a hole in the ground. Let's see what's in it. And it's an antique. Must have missed that one previously. Oh well, I'll just simply write the old museum a letter. Or not write a letter. Like I sent to them anyway. I better to hold on to that for just in case. Let's see. Oh, Katrina's tent. She's here today. And there's Rollo. I think a Fred sent out the Sanford and Son every time I see Rollo. Speaking of Fred, speaking of Sanford and Son, my father and I. We have a relationship like Sanford and Son. He starts more arguments than there are flies in the garbage dump. Hey, let's see. I took every care of business, so I do not need to talk to Copper, but there's a police station. And we'll check the shoreline for that stupid bird. And possibly any more uh, holes in the ground. There's nothing quite like a hole in the ground, a hole in the ground, a hole in the ground. There's nothing like a hole in the ground, and here is the lighthouse. We got a stone bridge here in the city. There's nothing like a hole in the ground, a hole in the ground. Oh, we got two neighbors up here. Let's see. Yeah, there's uh, Jeremiah. We got a new neighbor. Yeah, that was Pinky. She moved in today. Anyway, there's a tailor shop right here. Where I took you in there over in Quicks Quickville. And well, here's the dock. The island, as uh, we kept it for uh, com 
for a memorial, we used Tim Time Tales Island. And so we uh, tra we exchanged it between we exchanged it with the original island of Quick City. Anyway, it's got the Tim Time Tale flag on it. So we're not gonna bar going there. Anyway, you know the two signs. Well, that joke never gets old. Anyway, there are two holiday signs got them down here, here, in the city. There's Rosie and the, got the sign to site logo here as well. There's a uh, shovel tree. That's Buzz. Buzz Lightyear. Do it, Vinny! And on your head! Oh, and there's uh, Cashmere. I got a card for Babra. Huh. Too bad she ain't here. And uh, I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, you have seen him. Uh, Iggy. He's around here somewhere. I'm not gonna bother. Anyway, here's the Nook Shop once again. And well, I guess that's it for uh, Quick City. Oh, I got the fishing tourney sign around here somewhere. You already seen that, so I'm not gonna bother finding it. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, I gotta mail this uh, fossil off. After I do that, we're gonna head back over to Quickville for closing ceremonies of this great documentary I put together. You'll find out what the HFA stands for. So, stay tuned and relax. In the meantime, here's some music. Welcome back to Quickville, and we're here for the closing ceremonies of the uh, documentary of the city of Quickville and Quick City in Animal Crossing for Nintendo GameCube. But first, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. Sign Chew and Rose Chew. Excuse me. I'm just going to let you know who they are. They're Pokemon. I made them up. They're both electric types. Alright? Obviously. Sanji and Rose, you are Pokemon. I mean, they're electric types. They got evolution. Metonic and Vamprosa. You want pictures? You gotta ask me for them. Also, they got baby forms. Sonny and Rosie. They're cuties. So anyway, if you miss it the first couple of times, here's one last time. Okay. And, uh, to answer the all-important question, what is the meaning of HFA? with the two red eyes. I will tell you. Got that? That means high functionally autism because that's why I am. I'm high functionally autistic. I may have autism, but since I'm high functional, I do all I could do a lot of things. I mean otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this documentary I'm doing right now. So let's see. Is there anything else I need to cover? 
Well, I guess not. But anyway, uh, this is the city of Quickville. And uh, there's, don't forget to sign your website if you want to go see it. I've been playing video games for as long as I can remember. And listening to music as long as I can remember. So, we're going to end this documentary by uh, obviously leaving. If you want credits, you have to look at the uh, enclosed letter. But anyway, uh, for, the, for the submission of Nintendo Power, this has been a documentary narrated by Christian Weston Chandler. Thank you very much, and I hope that you will consider this for a publication. Bye now. A real-time game that's happening every second of every day? It's Animal Crossing for the Nintendo GameCube. Get your own place and become part of a thriving community. Meet your neighbors, <laughs> chat with them, or help them by running errands. They'll reward you with cash, food, or even things to decorate your new home. Furnish your home any way you want, or pay off your loan and buy a better one. Choose different activities for different days. Catch insects, go fishing, or dig up fossils. As the seasons change, so will your activities. Up to four players can join the fun, trade with them, or arrange scavenger hunts. For a change of pace, hop a train to visit another village. Find new items and tasty fruit. There's always plenty to do, and something is always happening in Animal Crossing. We'll see you there. Here is a true story. Of four friends picked to live in a video game. And find out what happens when they stop being themselves. And start being someone else. Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing for Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube. Cube. A walrus moved into the village today. Hot. i just been fishing, you know, seeing some pals. All Rob does is fish. Fish and see his pals. I'm the one getting the job, attending the guard. Welcome to Animal Crossing, the life game that's happening every minute of every day, whether you're playing or not. Hey, it's called a lawnmower. Other people have to live here too, you know. Rated E for everyone. Here's the true story. Of four friends picked to live in a video game. And find out what happens when they stop being themselves. And start being someone else. Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing for Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube. GameCube. Today I was like, let's redecorate the house. And I was like, maybe we should buy some furniture first. Nice outfit. Where'd you get it? A garbage dump? Uh, yeah. Welcome to Animal Crossing, the life game that's happening every minute of every day, whether you're playing or not. Winter's coming soon. Should I make pants for that? Ready to eat for everyone. Here is the true story. Of four friends picked to live in a video game. And find out what happens when they stop being themselves. And start being someone else. Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. For Nintendo GameCube. A sheep moved into the village today. Sweet. Why am I always the one organizing the treasure hunt? Maybe I'd like to sit around blasting techno music all day. Welcome to Animal Crossing, the life game that's happening every minute of every day, whether you're playing or not. I'll trade you some wallpaper for your UFO. You think I'm a chump? Try the raccoon. Rated E for everyone. Here's the true story. Of four friends picked to live in a video game. And find out what happens when they stop being themselves. And start being someone else. Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing for Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube. GameCube. Nobody wants to trade insects with me, no matter how many notes I leave them. Why am I always the one cleaning the house and picking the peaches? Where's my big fat hammock time? So tense. Welcome to Animal Crossing, the life game that's happening every minute of every day, whether you're playing or not. So do you want to swap fossils with me later, or...? Ready to eat for everyone.